everybody today we're going to have a go at making a sunflower little teardrop so I've got an MDF cut out here um, I've sealed the back of it with a, um, a mix of PVA and water so that's just half and half I've spray painted just this bit here this is some black spray paint I'm going to put my flower on here and it will be 3d so let's um, get started I've got some stained glass this one here is called mandarin I think it is um, and I've got some beautiful peacock green so I'm just going to make a whole lot of petals so we'll start by scoring them out it's always good to have all these um, ready to go so preparation And that will be our petals. We are just going to take the wee top off them just so they're not really sharp. So I'm just putting my cutters on a little bit of an angle. And that just helps me just to take that tiny bit off without taking off too much. And then the bottom, I'm just going to take a little bit off. So I've got a rounded edge and just a straight cut on the bottom. So I'll do that to all of these ones. roughly draw our little circle shape on here so we're going to kind of take it around probably to about here and I'm using prep glue which I've just put into a smaller bottle just easier to use Right, I've got some little green triangles, stained glass triangles. I'm going to fill in the background. Easy to do this now before we start doing our 3D flower because it can be a little bit mucky. So we'll do our background and we'll grout around here and then we'll proceed with the 3D middle. Well, I've just mixed a little bit of black grout up so we are going to grout around here and around the petals first it just makes it a lot easier to grout when you are doing the 3d stuff you can grout the base of it first so I'm just using a black grout the brand that I'm using is Davco also remember if you get one of these ones to put something in the hole So I took a little hole in there to hang it, so I'm just going to pop that in there. I'm going to leave that for probably maybe 10 minutes and I'm going to come back and just wipe off any surface grout and then we can start our 3D petals. Right, time for cleaning off. So I've got a slightly damp cloth. I'm just moving the surface grout around. Cleaning out the middle part. That's where our little 3D flower is going to go.
And you may need to get a cotton bud just to sort of clean around the edges here. Right, so once the grout is off, I am now just going to buff it with a dry cloth. idea if you want to get this really really cleaned up because you don't want to start putting your 3d flowers on and it's still dirty under here because it will make it hard to clean so even if you leave it for another half an hour and then go back and buff it before we start the flowers the remaining petals right it's time to do our little flower petals so I've let this dry I'm just going to go around with my uh, silicon glue again so this is the one that's clear um, and I just like to use this in for doing my 3D flowers, but not for gluing onto my substrate. It's just clearly for embedding. Um, and I find it's just easy to use with a little handy top. Right, so I'm just going to create a little circle of glue. And then I'll come in again with another layer. a little bit more. This just helps to hold our second layer of petals in. All right, same thing again, the little rounded edges on the outside and I'm just going to push them down. So the idea is to, I'm covering up the scat here. As you can see, I have a nice lot here which I want to get rid of. I've got a bit carried away. So I'm just going to take the surplus off with a Q-tip. And I'm just going to go around and just pat any of the silicon that may be sticking up. Let's have a closer look. So you see I've actually overlapped a few as well, so they look quite nice. Alright, for the middle we've got preparation time again. So I'm using some 10mm black opaque tiles. These are just 4mm uh, thick and I'm going to cut them in half. I've got some truffle coloured grout, or you could use uh, any sort of brown coloured grout. Um, I'm mixing some glass and mosaic additive into it. So this will turn my grout into a glue, which is great for embedding the centre. So just a small amount of additive. You want to mix it to the consistency of a toothpaste mix. I've let this sit aside for five minutes. I'm just giving it a restir. So I'm using the 10mm, which I've cut in half, black opaque tiles. I also have found some gorgeous little uh, beads that I'm going to use. And these have got the nice little rainbow effect. So I'm going to pop a few of those in there. So the idea is we're using this mix as our embedding mix. Just going to pop a little bit in the centre. 
you just want to kind of flatten it down but not too flat so it's roughly well just under four mil thick roughly or just enough to embed your little bits and pieces in Just move it around till you're happy. Right. So I'm going to pop these little ones here in the sides. Just push them down. So use tweezers if you find you need them. Okay, let's have a close-up look. So the reason why I've chosen the nice brown grout is because it kind of is going to give me my foundation for the background. So you can see a little bit comes through. A bit blurry. But that's the overall effect. So beads are fantastic to also use. Um, I use a lot of the beads if they're flat. Um, all these ones have got a nice little point on them. 